5 micro SD cards from the same brand, from the same shop, with the same capacity and the same speeds. In my previous video I soaked each micro SD card in a different liquid for a week to see if that would affect the micro SD card or outright destroy them. Thankfully all the cards survived. This time around I'm gonna expose each micro SD card to a different amount of heat over a period of 5 minutes. The temperatures I'm going to use are 75 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius, 125 degrees Celsius, 150 degrees Celsius and 157 degrees Celsius. If the first card survives, I will increase its temperature to 200 degrees Celsius. To create a fair environment, I will heat them in an air fryer. I will first run the air fryer without a card inside for 5 minutes and then put the card inside for another 5 minutes. Afterwards I will let them cool down so that overheating will not be an issue. And then I will retest them. Freshly cooked micro SD cards. After heating them up, letting them cool down and now testing them, I have to say all of them perform exactly the same. But not even that. After heating all of them and testing them, I went back and heated the acetone one to 200 degrees Celsius. It first refused to format, but after DDing Def Zero onto it, I was able to do that and the speed is back. After the acetone test, it was at around 30 megabits per second and it started at 40 megabits. And now after heating it's back to 40. I don't know why. I retested it about 3-4 times after the acetone to see if the speed is permanently reduced by 25%. But now it's back. After all that I can say, with a reasonable amount of outside influence, these microSD cards probably won't break. Or any microSD cards to be honest. But now it has come to a point where I want to perform a final test with the acetone microSD card. As you can see, a microSD card might be safe in an oven for a little bit, but in a house fire it stands no chance and completely falls apart.